They say music is the window to the soul. It's part of our culture and our everyday lives. Music evokes emotion and playing an instrument can do the same. Oh Kim Kim, an Irvine resident, is a master crafter and violin, viola, and cello maker. Many people have the same reaction upon walking into a shop. They have many questions because they, you know, they didn't see that and they have a very you know, the curious about my working. So sometimes I show the how to working and I show that the samples working and I really like to share the, my experience too. And then also they have, uh, you know, curious about me, so it's just really good. He says he's always been an audiophile and by chance discovered this could be a profession. He was in Australia when he was 25 and his friend who played the violin made the connection for Okyum to meet a violin maker. When I see that the, how he making instruments, it was a shock to me. It was a shock because I never seen it before, like, you know, the, the part of the instruments, but there was unvarnished white varnish and a part and somewhere else. Wow, that is uh, amazing to me. This was the spark that led Okyum to begin his calling. He went to Cremona, Italy to study, the same place the world-renowned Stradivarius violins were made hundreds of years ago. There is a violin making school. We call it International Violin Making School in Cremona. So there's a 200 students. They coming all around the world. So Cremona is, uh, I think, the, the, one of the most important city for the violin making. It takes about two to three months for a handmade violin to be completed. Here's part of what goes into making one. The violin, it's a uh, four big part, which is um, the side and the back and the front and the neck. First, I get wood, you know, the big piece of wood. And also I planing and make a flat. The wood is very specific as well. It's a quarter cut maple and spruce from Europe. The same type of maple that was used in the 1700s. He makes the sides first with a mold. And I put some side, uh, very thin wood, like um, one millimeter, which is really thin, like a little thicker than paper, which is thin. Um, and I'm making the side first. After that, Joy, we cut our line and then starting carving. Uh, make arching and also digging the inside. Uh, top and back is the same process. Uh, once I finish the back and the top, take off the mold from the side and we glue together. The last piece? We need carving the neck. We call the scroll and carving the scroll and uh, setting up the scroll. The next thing is to set up and then everything and I put the string and a bridge and then play that. Okyam makes these pieces specifically customized for each musician. He can make the scroll thicker or thinner depending on the size of the person's hand. The best part of this process? The finally, when I finish the instruments and I hand it to the musician, when they play, they really like the sound. That is the biggest of my joy, actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it's not only playing in his shop, he'll be invited to hear them perform with the instrument he created. Especially when he played, when she played uh, on the concert or something, in the theater, and a concert hall, that is the biggest of my joy. <laughs> Okyam also repairs violins, violas, and cellos. And the tools are not so easy to come by for the violin maker. All kind of a tool is a very specific tool. So it's not easy to get in here. He has to get them from Italy, Germany, or Switzerland. But now with the internet, it certainly has helped, Okyam adds. With all he does, and with all the awards he's been recognized with, it doesn't stop his desire to improve. To me, it's the most important thing is to keep learning. And I keep learning and keep thinking about to how to make good instruments. That's my 
very simple philosophy. So I'm always thinking about how to make good instruments, which is a good sound. Okyum sees clients by appointment only in his studio. If you're interested, you can contact him to commission one of your very own, or if your instrument is in need of repair.